What's up, YouTube? Angry Jackal up here, Rob Ricks. Uh, apologies on that uh, Tops 111 video. Fucking, when I rendered it out, it did like 15 minutes, and it's a 17-minute video, so there's going to be two of them up there, and I'm going to put a annotation or something in there that you'll be able to click on and go to the actual right video. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about the uh, Havilon blade. I'm doing a quick little review on it since it was Hallow since Halloween, and I'm trying to put this out uh, either on Halloween or the day before Halloween. This is a video where I talk about this bad boy right here, and I actually carved a pumpkin with it. I did break one blade. Uh, these blades are real thin, super duper thin, uh, and that's why they are so freaking sharp. You know, this one I, I actually used on a pumpkin, so let's see if it's still sharp. Yeah, I mean, look at this. You know, that's just scary, scary, scary sharp. Let's get something out here. What's in here? Got a fucking... What was this? Uh, oh, some Capital One shit. They keep wanting me to buy a fucking... Get a, get a car. So, we'll go like this. We'll go like this here. Let's get it right here. Freddy Krueger, bitch. Ah, Freddy Krueger. Ah. I hope that looked cool going in like that. I'm guessing how this shit looks, but... Anyway, you can see just how crazy sharp these things are. Now, the reason I got this... Um, and I have this as part of my EDC, which you might have seen inside of my, <coughs> excuse me, inside of my, <coughs> excuse me again, part of my EDC, uh, breakdown is in case there needs to be some kind of, uh, baseline operation. Now I'm not talking about, you know, I'm going to go in and cut something out of myself or anything like that, but there are times where you get something that's kind of lodged in and basically pulling it out with tear, right? So as opposed to having a big gouged out wound or something like that, you could take this, cut a line, cut a line, and then as you're pulling it out, you're not going to do as much damage, right? Um, that's the kind of stuff that I was considering this for. Um, simple things like... Um, like that um, you could use this also to cut regular everyday items if you needed to and it will do that but as I mentioned the blade is thin um, I went into the pumpkin at one point and was kinda forcing a curve on it and it put too much pressure and pop, popped the blade right in the middle there um, taking a blade on and off let's see I think I'm trying to remember how I did it before. I think I used another tool to do it. Um, slides on and off. Let's see if I could do this without cutting myself. That's the thing that scares me about this fucking blade is the fact that it's uh, so damn sharp. Oh, I just broke it. Well, oh, anyway. I'll get another blade out. I need to clean this anyway. That's pumpkin guts all in it. Yeah, pumpkin guts. Bloody hell. What the bloody pumpkin guts. No self-respecting man walks around with a blade with pumpkin guts in it. It needs right, proper, bloody guts. Right? So this is basically how it works. And what I like about it is they come with these nice sanitary little packaging. So, open it up. Yep, I just made it fucking dirty by dropping it. But anyway, comes on like this. Let's see if I can show you why I do how I do it. Let's see here. So I think it comes like that. Okay, so yeah. So this thing slides. 
and as it goes back, that pop that pops right on there. So there you go. So this guy is ready. Surgical stainless steel, ready to fucking slice some shit. I'm not gonna cut myself. What did you think I was gonna fucking cut myself? What kind of a sicko do you think I am? I wouldn't cut myself. No, fuck no. That's fucking crazy. Maybe if I had some numbing shit on, because uh, I don't really like pain. Pain is not my cup of tea. Anyway, it's got a little liner lock in there. That's how you close it. It's got a little thumb stud right here that you can use to pop it out. So you can do it one-handed. Closing it. See, so can I close it one-handed? Yep, can close one-handed. And it's super duper lightweight. Uh, it's very comfortable in the hand. Very, very comfortable. It's got uh, grooves, little notch right here. So when you're doing a fine work, you can slide your finger on it like that. So you can grab some skin and this would work really good for skinning too. Um, I tested it out on the uh, one of the deer legs and um, it was really gory and um, I didn't put it on there and I made a big mess. And it was really amateurish, the type of shit that I was doing with it. It really wasn't camera worthy. But, um, suffice to say, this thing is sharp. Super duper sharp. So, I wanted to show you the pumpkin carving. Here you go. That's it. So I just want to wish you guys happy Halloween. Sam Hain. Sam Hain. Be safe out there. If you got kids, keep an eye on them. There's some sick fuckers out there. Uh, and uh, just have a good time. Happy Halloween, guys. Be good to each other.